Hey y'all, welcome back to the art room. Here we are, artist friends, let's get started with our glass drawing. Now again, you've followed the setup. Hopefully you've got either your glass um, pair set up or like I said, you've got, there it is, there's my photograph on my computer screen, right? So you can have um, your video going on one side and then kind of like put the glass over to the other. So the first thing I wanna do is just declare kind of a sense of space that these glasses are sitting in. So we're gonna start with our usual like you've done in draw alongs with me before. Let's, let's set a table line. Let's define the space that these glasses are sitting on. Now why is this draw along so tricky? Well, glass is tricky, right? Because glass is see-through, yet solid. It's reflective, it's shiny. So there's just a lot of really complicated stuff happening with it. But no worries, I'm gonna help you break it down and we're gonna end up with a really beautiful drawing when this is all done. Again. You can be working on lined paper, computer paper. Um, like I said, oh, visit that recycle bin, guys. I'm telling you, the backs of some of these junk mail letters are great paper to draw on, okay? You don't have to have anything fancy. And remember, all drawing practice is good drawing practice. We're not talking about perfection here. We're not, this is like practicing your musical instrument. We're keeping up those visual observation skills and those fine motor drawing skills that we've been working on all year. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in our glasses. Okay, now looking at my photograph here, I'm gonna mark in kind of the basic height. I think that my one big tall glass is. Okay, and he kind of goes like the edge here to, boy, just about the top the picture frame up there. So I'm just marking in the height of the glass, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing for my shorter glass. My shorter glass goes in front of my tall glass. Ooh, some simple perspective. And I can see that my shorter glass falls lower on the picture plane. The bottom of it is, ooh, it actually goes quite a bit lower. Maybe more like there. And then comes kind of about halfway up my other taller glass. It may have exaggerated that bottom a little bit more. Maybe that was more accurate. Kind of more like, well, no, no, I think I was right. I think I was right before. Oh, you can see I changed my mind all the time. Okay, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna lay in the top ellipse of my large glass, okay? And then the top ellipse of my small glass. So the top ellipse of my large glass, and an ellipse is just a stretched circle, right? So let me actually, do I have a rubber band in my drawer here? <gasps> I do. So if you think about it this way, right? An ellipse is just taking a circle and stretching it. That's what we're doing, right? Because if we're looking straight down on our glass, we'd see a perfect circle. Right? If we're looking straight down on the glass, we see the perfect circle. But actually, when we look at the glass from the side, we don't see that perfect circle. We see that ellipse. So think of it like we're creating that stretch shape, we're taking the rubber band, and we're stretching it. Because we're looking at it from the side. Oh, and you can hear me being emailed here. I should, should turn my, I'm gonna mute my, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna mute my, my computer. Because she can hear, I'm, you can hear my emailing in the background, or my email dinging in the background as it goes through. I'm just going to try to make my ellipse as even as possible on both sides. Light, light, sketchy line. We don't want any hard line just yet. Okay, there's my top ellipse. Now I'm going to figure out now. My ellipses are approximately the same size on these glasses. Not, not quite, the bottom one's a little bit wider, ever so slightly. Just take, take your time. Don't be afraid to redraw, re-erase. Your bottom curve and your top curve like kind of match almost for lack of a better term. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Now let's draw in the sides of our glasses. And these glasses aren't quite straight. They've got this kind of little curve to the edge. Now here's what's real tricky about glass is we're not going to erase any of our overlaps until we get to highlights. We're going to leave all our overlaps intact until we get to the highlight portion of this. Okay, so there's the other side, and then now I'm going to put in the bottom curve of this glass, just the front edge of the ellipse, because there's some more complex stuff that's happening inside the glass. So again, we're leaving all of our overlaps, leave your table line, leave where one glass goes behind or in front of another, leave all overlaps. Okay, so basic shape of my large glass, I'm going to put in now the basic shape of my small glass. You know, and actually looking at it, I think my ellipse actually does kind of go a little bit wider. See, I already caught something I want to change in my drawing. I think this really does, just looking at my photograph, come further over. A little bit wider. a bit wider over a bit wider over this way and then shrinks down this side a little bit that seems to be in a yeah it's a bit better location okay and then same thing this we're gonna put in our sides To this glass comes down in front and then once again we're going to kind of match that bottom ellipse approximately where it is sorry when you hear me tapping in the background that's me waking my computer up because it keeps going to sleep I should have thought to like reset the the settings on it but Oh well, I'll just I'll just keep tapping the space bar to keep waking it up so I can see my photograph. Okay. There we go. And that's kind of my basic contour outline of the glass shapes. But let's put some more detail in before we go right for the shading. So one thing I notice in my glass is they've got these really thick bases that match this front edge ellipse. So I got these really thick bases and then inside I can see the interior middle but it looks kind of more like a, a circle like so like that and then on this one I see kind of this ellipse through here and I see more of a squished center and I lose it a bit as it comes through this part of the glass and I get some other kind of wacky shapes happening. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to lighten my contour outlines a little bit. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to start by just, I'm running it gently. I'm not pressing hard. I'm barely putting any pressure over on the eraser and I'm just barely 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 lightening my lines now usually we'd take a kneaded eraser right and do this but if you don't have a kneaded eraser at home this works just as well you just take your eraser whatever you've got chunk eraser cap eraser like this I just want you to gently 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 run it over top of your glass lines okay that looks pretty good so far all right, now it's time for us to start some shading work. Okay, so take time, finish your basic contour outline, and then we're going to go into the next video to start looking at some 
uh, form shadow, focusing on not only creating just an overall form tone to this glass, but then working with some um, darker values and um, lighter highlight values within the glass itself. All right, so take care. See you again soon in the art room. Bye-bye.